So in this case, 5 plus 5, uh, we've already got one integer there, there's a plus sign, okay, what's the next thing? 5. So do the mathematical operation of 5 plus 5. Now, um, this leads to a slight problem. If we try and do something like this, 5 plus 5, uh, we get an error, okay? And our error is a type error, and it says unsupported operand types for plus, int, and string. That's because um, in certain cases, if we did something like this, 5 plus 5, it outputs and it gives us 55 because it's concatenating two strings. And in that case, it's not actually doing a mathematical operation. It's just joining them together. So that may look like 55, but actually it's just two fives next to each other. Okay? It's not the actual uh, 55 that we know. Okay? It's just because they're right next to each other. It looks like 55. So... Um, Back to my point here, uh, Python will always try and do the mathematical operation, which means when you try and add a string to an integer mathematically, it's not possible, obviously. There's no way in, in the world, in the universe, that you can add a string to an integer. Um, and that's just because of the physics of letters and numbers. There's no way you can put them together. Uh, now, you might say, but that's not a uh, letter, it's a number. Five is a number. But whenever it's between quotes, Python will always interpret it as a string. It, um, and like I said before, it's not going to bother trying to search the string to see if it only has a number in it, because that would defeat the whole purpose of strings, okay? And it could be really frustrating if you have something, if you want a, the number to be in a string, but Python always interprets it as a number, okay? So, um, you can't use the plus sign on uh, numbers and strings in the print sign, in the print statement, sorry. But remember that comma? Well, you can use that, because that's not actually a way of concatenating things. Like I said, remember, um, it's a way of printing out a list of things. So there we go. Um, so that covers, um, I hope everyone understood everything I said in there. If you don't, just leave me a comment, send me a PM, send me an email, send me a contact form from my website, you know, whatever. Um, but now we're going to get on to a couple more things. Um, so we have 5 plus 5, we can do 5 minus 5, obviously, all the basic operators, 5 times 5, 25, um, 5 divided by 2, let's say, wait a minute, 2? That's not right, is it? 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. Here we've stumbled upon something uh, which is fundamental in uh, Python and most other programming languages as well. Um, actually, I'm not sure. It might be Python specific. I can't remember entirely. But it's this is what's called integer division, okay? When all the numbers in the division are integers, that means they have no decimal place. They're not floating point numbers, is what they're called. Floating point number is a number with a decimal place. Uh, so when all numbers don't have a decimal place, um, Python will, no matter what the result is, if the result has a decimal number, uh, a decimal place, sorry, if it's a floating point number, the result, it will chuck away the decimal place, okay? Because we're trying to do an integer division. So if we're doing trying to do an integer division and it gives us back 2.5, that's not what we want, obviously, because that has a decimal place. So it will chuck away the um, the remainder. All we need to do to make it uh, a floating point value is just add point zero, okay? Because that's the same number. You might be thinking, oh, maybe I have to add zero 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 one to make it as finite as possible. But five point uh, zero little bit one divided by two point so and so one isn't the correct answer. You can see we've got this bunch of numbers on the end here. That's wrong, obviously. So we can just add 0.1. That's legal. And if we do that, we get 2.5, as expected. Um, and if we do 5.0 divided by 2, we still get 2.5, because remember I said uh, when all numbers in the division are um, integers, then it will do integer division. But in this case, um, one of them is a floating point number, so it does the floating point uh, division, or decimal division, I should really say. And it's the same backwards as well, 
5 divided by 2.0, 2.5. Okay. Um, let's just talk about something. If you always want to do decimal division, apart from in very special cases, um, and you don't always want to have to add point zero on the end, you can do something. All you need to do is type from underscore underscore two underscores future underscore underscore import division. Okay, and now if I do five divided by two, I get two point five. Uh, and that's what from underscore future underscore I just said one underscore because I don't want to have to say both of them but there are actually two there so from underscore future underscore import division okay and that will make every division you do uh, floating point division or decimal division uh, but there are special cases where you want integer division for that reason if you've imported um, division from future all you need to do to get into the division integer division sorry is type is use the double forward slash operator uh, and that will do an integer division okay as we can see and the final operator is a modulus operator which returns oops returns the remainder of a division between the two numbers so 5 mod 2 returns the remainder of 5 divided by 2 obviously the remainder is 1 so 5 mod 2 will be 1 okay so those are, oh wait, just one more as well actually, I almost forgot, uh, is the double multiplication operator which does the exponent, so 2 exponent 2 or 2 squared or 2 to the power of 2, okay, and you can do it with any number, 5, uh, 2, exponent 8, there you go, okay. So uh, that is, I'm pretty, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, everything for this tutorial. Next tutorial, we're going to be getting on to variables. Okay, guys, over and out.